Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is going to be a spring inspired pastel but kind of dramatic look at the same time, as weird as that sounds. So it is featuring the new Lorac Pro palette, which is called I Love Brunch. I re received. I purchased mine off of Ulta. It was $44, um, $44, $45, and it came with a primer and an eyeshadow brush as well. These colors, guys, are so beautiful. I have been, like, wanting a palette that was all pastels for a long time. So, like, thumbs up, Lorac, because this is awesome. Oh, it makes me so happy. So, uh, like, these kind of palettes, um, like, I love my neutral palettes, but these kind of palettes get your creativity flowing a bit more and, uh, you know, just take you out of your comfort zone a little bit. So, I think they're really fun to have in your collection. And I think this is perfect coming into spring 2017. Um, some people have been saying that the pigmentation isn't so great with these. I think some are better than others, I will say that, but I do think it's still worth getting and I do approve it. Um, you know, most of them aren't bad. I'd say like lavender is a little weak for a pale purple, but it's not bad. You know, they're pastels. I think that makes it a little bit harder. I'm not trying to make excuses for the brand, but like, you know, there's got to be so much white pigment in there to keep it that light, I would think. You know, and then this is avocado toast, which is my favorite you guys and then blueberry scone these are probably like my top three faves in there like the pale um pale turquoisey like seafoam green more so and then the lavender and like that bright pale blue so these are so gorgeous the pigmentation's there you just have to um watch how you use the palette and i'm going to go ahead and jump into this tutorial so you guys can see how i really got um that full force color from this palette with minimal effort. So if you guys are interested in seeing this tutorial and how I achieved this awesome, dramatic, but spring and playful look, then keep on watching. I'm starting with the Marc Jacobs primer. This is the coconut one and I'm gonna apply that to my face. This is really moisturizing and hydrating. Now the foundation is Remarkable by Marc Jacobs. And I apply a few dots all over my face and blend it out with a Morphe like flat top kabuki type brush. This product blends in really fast, so just keep working. I'm really, really loving this foundation so far, and I do have a review slash first impressions on this product. Now Shape Tape Concealer. And I apply quite a bit. You guys use just however much you want. Blend it out with a damp beauty blender. Gives a really nice finish. Now I'm applying RCMA powder to set that. Create a little bit of a baking effect. This is Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC, my go-to powder, just to set the rest of my face. Mine's in the shade Light. Now I'm taking Shape Tape and a concealer brush and I'm going to carve out my eyebrows to make them look a little bit more neat. My eyebrows drive me nuts, I don't know about you guys. I'm setting mine with clear mascara, just cheaper than brow gel. I haven't found a brow gel I really like. This is Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. I wanted a really sticky base for the pastel shadows to stick to today. This is my Lorac Pro palette and it's going to be what we're using for our shadows. Starting with um, this gluten-free shade, I'm going to place that under my brow bone. It's like a shimmering off-white color. Next I'm going in with Mimosa and this is going to be our transition shade just so that everything blends really smooth and flawlessly. Now I'm taking Sunday Fun Day and I'm going to start to deepen that crease. Next, we're taking Sorbet, which is our main crease color, and you're going to work that into your crease in circular and windshield wiper motions. I kept applying more until I got the deepness and intensity that I was looking for. I added in a little bit of valet. The gray was really just meant to deepen it. Now I'm taking this paint stick from MAC. It may be a pro product, but use any white base you have, maybe a milk jumbo pencil from NYX. And I'm going to apply this to my lid very neatly, just on the like inner two thirds to create like a strong white base for that 
really pastel color to stick to. I'm taking my time with this because this product can be a little bit messy. And these have so many uses, you guys. Now I'm blending sorbet just to make sure that line is clean between the paint and the um, eyeshadow. Now taking avocado toast, which is my favorite, I'm really gonna pack that on to my lid. You can see I'm pressing it on, not swiping it on. If you swipe it, you're gonna lose a lot of the product and it won't have that opacity that we're going for. So I continue to pack it on until I have my desired effect. Going back in with sorbet so that everything is smooth between the two colors. Now I'm taking hot sauce to add a little more warmth to the crease and the eye. And just blend that out. Add a little more avocado toast if you lost any during blending. Now I'm taking sorbet and I'm putting that as drop shadow under my waterline. Now take avocado toast and put that on the inner corner of the eye as well. And I'm going back with gluten free for my highlight under my brow bone. And I also placed it in the inner corner of my eye just to give a little pop of something light and shimmery in that area. Next, I'm gonna do Christina lashes and liner off so camera. I have my liner and my lashes on. I really, really liked these 605 lashes. The band's a little thicker than I'm used to. I've never used these before, but they look really fluttery and pretty and I, I just felt like they had like a springy dramatic feel as weird as that sounds so that's why I chose these um, and I went really dramatic on the liner to pop against um, against avocado toast because I wanted that contrast between light and dark to be like super dramatic you guys do not have to do that you could do a smaller wing liner or um, you know no liner whatever makes you happy I just you know like a little bit of an edgier look sometimes and I did also off camera I realized I did it and um, didn't turn the camera back on I added a teeny bit of black eyeshadow um, blended into the waterline with um, with sorbet just to give a little deepness down there because it was looking a little light so now the eye is complete and we can move on to the face so I'm going to start by bronzing up my face I have been using the Omega bronzer from Marc Jacobs on my forehead and I'm going to bronze the outside of my face on both sides just to give me some color I am so pale you guys there we go okay just a little bit have some color I'm going to contour I have been using also from Marc Jacobs, the Mirage filter. It's like a duo. It has a banana powder and a contour powder. So I'm going to use this today. I'm going to start with the light powder, and I'm going to place that under my eyes, down my nose, blend it into my center of my forehead and by the brow area. And that'll blend out the um, bronzer a little bit too. And I'm going to place it under where I'm going to put my contour to keep that area light mm -hmm. okay now we can contour i'm using the morphe y8 and i'm putting it under my lip putting the dark there will recede that and make the bottom lip look pouty and fuller which i like uh, i'm going to put a little bit under my chin i'm going to do the cheekbones My nose, I'm using this thinner brush for that. For blush, I haven't really decided what I want to use. Um, most of my blushes, you guys, are MAC. It's just what I have. I have so many. I'm going to go Style, which is like a corally peachy, more peachy than anything color, and it has a little bit of shimmer. I'm going to use this, but I'm going to have a light hand with it, and I'm going to use this angled brush. just for a little color. 
it'll bring out that like hot sauce and those kind of colors I blended in with sorbet to give it some dimension. We can highlight Mary Luminizer and see how that goes. Just because it's a little more champagne and not so white. Yeah. Because I really want the drama to be like the liner and the avocado toast. I don't want to go like crazy with any of the other colors. Okay, so now that we're really glowy, I'm just going to take my powder brush that I used to just powder my face earlier and just give everything a little bit of a blend. That way it's a little bit more seamless. I'm going to set my face with ugh, this all-nighter setting spray from Urban Decay. That smells weird. It smells so weird. I don't like the scent of this, but I'm still going to use the whole thing. I guess it seems okay. I just don't like how it smells for like two seconds. Lips. I have um, two ideas in mind. I want to use one of the Jeffree Star liquid to matte lipsticks. To line my lips first, I'm using the Coco K lip liner. It's now we could try the chrysanthemum. Such a weird word. Chrysanthemum, and that is the color I'm going to wear today. I think that is our final look. I really like it. I think it's really fun in spring, but at the same time, like, a little kick-ass because it's got a little something more going on with it. So, um, yeah, it's really, really cute. Um, I will say this palette, if you want to use the bright colors, I would recommend using a white base like I did earlier in the um, tutorial for the eyes. I really am obsessed with this color, honestly. I think next up I'm either going to be playing with lavender or blueberry, blah, blah, blueberry scone. Um, I really like blueberry scone too, but since one of my previous tutorials recently was kind of purple, I went with more of the green versus like that blue purple family. So I really enjoyed it. Um, you can get this palette currently at Ulta. I believe it doesn't actually release on uh, Lorax site until Thursday. I think it said Thursday. I, I saw something about it on their Instagram. But um, yeah, you could get this currently at Ulta. That's where I got mine online. It's $44. It comes with a primer and a brush, which I did not use in this video. And then for the lip color, um, Chrysan Chrysan I got um, I got this from Jeffree Star's website. But you could also get it from Beautylish. And I recommend probably buying it from Beautylish because you'll get it way faster. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and thanks so much for the support. And I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Bye. Pigmentation and there's hot sauce. Um, I just watched five of them and the pigmentation looks fine. I think what